Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about some brand new changes made to the heist challenge which is currently going on in GTA 5 online. But not only that, we're also going to be taking a look at some brand new content added into the game as well as some leaks found by some very credible data miners. So as always, if you guys do want to enjoy the video and you do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 news, all I ask is you do return the favour by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as i do post daily gta 5 videos with that being said let's get into the video okay so as i'm sure all of you guys are aware i spoke about it last week rockstar games launched a brand new heist challenge in november right before they plan on releasing the new dlc next month now, they've done the highest challenge two years ago, if you guys can think back, where they set a target for the community to reach a certain amount of money. I believe it was 100 billion collectively, and I think we ended up getting like 100 trillion. So, <laughs> Rockstar Games really underestimated the grind from the GTA community, especially with all of the replay glitches that were going on two years ago. However, Rockstar Games noticed that they couldn't set any given target for the community to reach because we would just end up smashing it out and everyone would end up getting rewarded. So for this year's highest challenge, they did mix things up and they went ahead and said, if you guys want to complete the highest challenge this month, all you guys have to do is complete all of the highest finales in order to be rewarded with a bonus $2 million. Now, if you guys aren't aware, when the original post was set at the start of the month, they included all of the heists minus Kyle Perico. However, Tezfons2, who's a very, very credible data miner, noticed that Rockstar Games have now added the Kyle Perico heist to the heist challenge. Yes, you guys heard correct. He shared a post that was noticed over on the Rockstar Social Club where someone just asked the question, how do I qualify for the $2 million GT Online heist event bonus? To which they did reply and says, to receive the heist event bonus of $2 million, you need to complete each of the following heist finales during the three week period beginning on Thursday, November the 3rd and ending Wednesday, November the 23rd. And as you guys can see on screen, they did include all of the original heists. So the Fleecer job, the prison break, the Humane Labs, the Series A funding, along with Pacific Standard, all three of the Doomsday heists. So you've got Act 1, 2, and 3 that rewarded you guys with bonuses last week. Of course, the Casino heist, which is offering you guys a 50% boost this week and can also unlock this rare vest. And as you guys can see right at the end, Rockstar Games have now added the Kyle Perico heist to the highest challenge which to be fair the Kaya Perico heist really isn't the hardest it's one of the easiest heists actually to grind out can be done 100% solo and you have to remember because it pays so well we're only going to be receiving a two million dollar bonus for completing finales for all of these heists you have to ask yourself the question could you make more money in that time period just grinding out the Kaya Perico heist of course, the max payout on the Kyle Perico heist is an insane $4.1 million, but there is a bunch of different factors that you do have to take into account. Of course, like if you guys are a GTA Plus member, for the next three weeks, you guys can get the Pampa statue guaranteed which of course will make a massive difference to your final payout. So I just want to give you guys a quick heads up that if you are going for the $2 million bonus challenge, that you do also have to complete the Kyle Perico heist now. So realistically, in my personal opinion, I think this is a pathetic reward from Rockstar Games, only rewarding players with $2 million, which can be made, like I said, from just grinding at the Kyle Perico heist a couple times in that time period. You're only rewarding players with money. I think they should have took note at the Halloween event and how many players were trying to get the Sasquatch outfit or the rare items. They should have released a bunch of rare items that we could unlock for completing this challenge or even a unique vehicle like they've done in the past. So it seems like Rockstar Games are just going to be saving all of the new content for the December DLC. And I've already made a video a few days ago talking about all of the leaks to do with the upcoming December DLC. So if I do remember, I will leave a link to that video down low in the description. Now, of course, as I'm sure you guys are aware on Thursday, Rockstar Games did roll out a brand new weekly update 
I already made a video fully breaking down all of the weekly updates. So if you haven't seen that video, do be sure to go ahead and check it out. However, one thing that was added in yesterday's update that a lot of people never realized, including myself until Tez Funds 2 went ahead and spoke about it, that Rockstar Games have updated the community series with a selection of jobs from the community. And they are also offering you guys double money and double RP on all of these new community jobs. I know some of you guys love these new community jobs and some of you can't stand them, so they really do split the community. However, they have added three new death matches, three new last team standard modes, as well as one new king of the hill mode. However, what's more interesting is Tezfons2, who, like I said, is one of the most credible data miners in the GTA 5 community, went ahead and tweeted, the new community death matches are supposed to feature a new set of intro animations as found by Lucas is personal. So back in August, as you guys can see on screen, Lucas is personal, who is another data miner, was able to find some animations that were added with the Criminal Enterprises DLC. Of course, Rockstar Games added all of the Halloween content back with this DLC also, which they planned on drip feeding in the coming months. So they don't have to go ahead and roll out a whole new DLC for files. They can add files in with DLCs, keep them hidden, and then just drip feed them over the coming weeks and months. So as you guys can see on screen, the new community death matches should come with a bunch of new animations, some that I'm showcasing on screen for you guys right now, which do look pretty goddamn cool, I'm not gonna lie. I wish Rockstar Games really made it so we could do more interactive stuff with the animations in GTA 5, such as sit on cars or sit on a bench, or even like roll over. I really cannot wait for GTA 6, considering how much Rockstar Games have developed GTA 5 from when it was first released to the game it is now. I think they've learned a lot of lessons of what went wrong over the years with GTA Online. So hopefully by the time they do release GTA 6, it does live up to all of our expectations. And like I said, in case you guys missed my video, Rockstar Games have also added in a bunch of new discounts, free vehicles, as well as a bunch of money making methods so if i do remember i will leave a link to that video down low in the description and before i do forget if you guys are looking for active gta 5 players to grind out any of these heists with or just grind out money in general or have fun on gta 5 online do be sure to go ahead and join my discord server we've got tons of active players on every single platform so you're all welcome to go ahead and join my discord server i will leave it linked down low as a pinned comment However, that is going to do it for me, guys. As always, if you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 news, all I ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below. And if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video.